What's up guys, it's Stealth here, and we are back in Metal Gear Solid. We just had a big old fight with a giant, uh... The Raven, I forgot, what is he? I don't remember what he is. Whatever. Dude had a freaking minigun that... It's insane. And now he gave us a level 7 card. That's the highest security card. Hooray, no more security card stuff. I'm, I'm actually very happy about this. Okay. Let's hope I remember how this works. Nope. Okay. Let's, let's just stop here. Look at this room. Do you see this? There's cameras everywhere. But there is a way to get around these buttheads. However, there is no way you're going to get past these guys. Not without a chaff. Now you pretty much need a chaff if you want to get past these guys. Okay. Here we go. How's my health looking, actually? Because I got hit with a couple bullets there. Yeah, I'll live. Let's go. There he is. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go this way. There's nothing over here, is there? Okay. That's fine. Anyway, we're here. Snake, it's me. What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah. Thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. For all the whininess that Otacon, like, all of his whiny behavior and everything, he... He is the member of our support team that pulls through the most. Like, he's the only one who's actually done anything. Everyone else is just offering words of encouragement. Give me that. Thank you. That was quick. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Thanks for the updates. Come on. Thank you. And I don't think the radar works anymore. Yeah, the radar is busted up here. I'll take this. No cameras as far as I can see. Missiles. It's kind of worrisome how many Stinger missiles they're deciding to give you, isn't it? 
Okay. On top of Metal Gear Rex's back. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the Star 3 Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. That is a scary thought for a weapon. I, honestly, like, even today, that would be freaking terrifying to have. I mean, you can't pick it up on radar. It gets around all those treaties and, it, like... Oh! Hey, there's a person here! Snake! Did you find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Come on, man. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. 
It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and the new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the Hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top-secret files. Great job. How's it going there? 
They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Yeah. Damn! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just gonna keep running. That's what's happening here. Yeah, you're not gonna come up this ladder. Dumb guard. Okay, let's hurry up. We need to get that key. You know, for the having to be temperature keys, I'm just wondering why isn't there any sort of system so where you can uh, input the keys as you need them? Like, I only see room temperature stuff around here. I don't see anywhere else. Like, I don't see anything cold or hot around here. Hold on a second, where am I supposed to go? Where do I go? I go here. Let's hope that the key is there. Is it not here? Oh, there it is. Lucky, lucky me. If you don't get down there fast enough, then the key's not there. I think a rat eats it. And so you have to go and hunt a rat down to get it. Let's head back upstairs. Luckily, though, we did get it fast enough, but if you, uh, if you don't get it fast enough, you can actually track the key with your mind detector. So, it's important you pick that up. And I think what you do is you just set claymores at, like, vents that the rat comes out of and blow it to shreds. <clears throat> and 
And that dude is still there. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this part, guys. Uh, when we come back, we're going to input this first key. Hopefully get the second key. I'm doubtful we're going to fit the third key into one part. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. That's going to be it for me, guys. See you all in the next one.